Did you know that Stevens Institute of Technology is one of the top universities in America for international students? It ranks number three with the total most number of international students here in the States and also has a top degree program of information systems. And our friend Anushka is going to share about her experience with you guys there at Stevens. Check it out. Hey friends, welcome to Chai Coaching. I'm Rob. We love helping internationals be successful in their cross-cultural journey, especially international students. And today we're going to take a closer look at Stevens Institute of Technology. I get lots of questions. I know this is a top destination there in New Jersey for F1 students. And we're going to learn so much from Anushka. So Anushka, please go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello, everyone. I'm Anushka Gaipad from Mumbai, India. Currently, I'm a graduate student at Stevens Institute of Technology, which is in New Jersey, USA and I'm pursuing my master's in information system program here at Stevens. In this video, we will be discussing about the campus life at Stevens. So let's get started. So Anushka, before we jump into the Stevens details, tell us a little bit just what was your profile like when you were applying to colleges and why did you shortlist and choose Stevens for your destination? So to begin with my profile, my GRE score was 300. My TOEFL score was 93. And I had applied to around eight universities for uh, information systems course. And uh, luckily I got admit from all of them. I chose Stevens mainly because of its coursework. The information system course at Stevens aligns very well with my interests. And moreover, my interests lie in business intelligence and project management as well. So at Stevens, our uh, graduate advisor suggested us to take varied subjects in first semester so that it would give us an idea whether to plan the specialization in project management or business intelligence so that we had this cohort model for the first semester so that uh, students would get the foundational knowledge from different domains like business intelligence, project management and also finance and accordingly in the following semesters we can choose our specializations and electives as per our interest. So I really like this flexibility. In short, the information system course at Stevens is flexible and then besides coursework, I also received the scholarship from Stevens. Although this is not the only reason why I chose Stevens, but it had definitely lifted some kind of financial burden for me personally. And another secondary reason is the location. Since it is close to Manhattan and New York, there would be many opportunities for the work and for my career, I believe. And you mentioned you got some scholarship, which definitely helps a lot. So tell us a little yeah. bit, just what are the expenses like there for tuition and cost of living there at Stevens? The tuition fees with respect to the information system course may range anywhere from 70,000 USD to 90,000 USD. And it also depends in how many semesters you complete the course for. If you complete it in 1.5 years, then it would be among that range, among the range which I mentioned that is 70,000 USD to 90,000 USD, or it may increase if you complete it in four semesters, all right? And then for the cost of living, again, it depends where you are living and what kind of rooms uh, are you living in. Like, for example, Stevens is located in Hoboken and the cost of living in Hoboken is comparative, comparatively high. Like the private rooms in Hoboken start from, let's say, around $800 for an individual. And it can be a little expensive for students so students chose to stay in a nearby city which is jersey city so mm. in jersey city there are affordable apartments and houses where we can prefer to stay and then again it depends whether you want a private room or you want a share room so if you're choosing to stay in a private room then the expense then the rent of the room may start from six hundred dollars onwards and then again the utilities cost would be different so most of the times it is starting from $600 or in the very rare cases, you would get some private room in $500, but that's very rare. Besides yeah. that, if you're, yeah, besides that, if you're considering to share a room with someone, then that would lower the cost of living because you're definitely sharing with someone. So you will be paying half of the amount of that room. So it can range anywhere from, let's say $350 to $500. Yeah, so that would be the range for sharing rooms and for private rooms, it would start from 550, that's 550 onwards. 
Amazing. Yeah, the Northeast is definitely a more expensive part of America. But one thing that definitely helps with your budget is getting on-campus jobs. So what's the on-campus job situation like there at Stevens for international students? So for on-campus jobs, we have to apply online through our Stevens website. But there are few chances of getting on-campus job in the first semester itself for international students. Most of them require the familiarity with the campus. Uh, then with the working of different departments, we need to know how the departments self function. And since we are a fresher, we are a new student there, it would be difficult for someone to get the on-campus job in the first semester itself. Most likely, we will get the um, on-campus job in the second semesters. There are various opportunities like we can get the TA, that is teacher teaching assistantships and research op opportunities because the uh, professors have seen us in our first semester. They know our capabilities, so they can approach us directly for teaching assistantships or research op opportunities. So that is a thing that um, in first semester, it is difficult to get the on-campus jobs, but make sure that you prove well in your subjects and so that the professors will know you better, interact with professors, have a good relation with them, and then maybe that can be of good cause in future. My friends, I'm learning a lot. I hope you are too. So give a big like and thumbs up to say thanks to Anushka for sharing about her experience there at Stevens. We've got some more fun topics coming up as well. But first, our chai question for you guys is what colleges are you applying to? Anushka shared that she applied to eight different universities and picked Stevens. But let us know in the comments which colleges you guys are applying to right now. Would love to hear that, see what variety people are going for. But now let's talk about your course. Anushka is studying a master's in information systems. So tell us about the course curriculum and even the job scope for this here in America. The information system course is basically a discipline which focuses on the management of information and communication technology elements within the business organizations. Now, the potential job roles one can get after pursuing this degree is that of the data analyst, business analysts, and project managers. So basically, data analysts are the ones who gather the data, clean the data, analyze, visualize, and present the existing data to help the business organizations to make better decisions. And the business analyst help to identify prob uh, problems, opportunities, solutions for their organizations by evaluating the company's current functions and IT structures, creating visual and financial models to support their business decisions. And then again, the project managers are the, are the ones who are responsible for developing and managing information technology projects and their cost, time and scope. So if you're someone who is interested in this kind of job roles, you can definitely consider taking this course. Yeah, I know this is a, a huge demand right now, especially with kind of the data science, project management, yeah. business intelligence trends for the job market here in America. So this is definitely a great course for that. Another question I want to talk about is campus life. You know, what can people and students expect coming to Stevens, coming to New Jersey, and what is the student campus life like in that area? Sure. So the campus life here at Stevens is amazing. There are various student clubs and every week there is some event going on in the college. So it's like there would be some fun event and also we have some technical events or workshops, career development workshops every week. So that would be of great benefit for us and for uh, like our career development. Furthermore, we meet people from different backgrounds. There's, I mean, there's a lot of diversity here and the faculties and any staff here are super helpful. If you need any help, as the faculties or any of the staff, they will make sure that your queries are solved. And then besides that, the wonderful view of New York City is uh, right in front of our campus. So it's really refreshing and it's amazing. The life here is quite amazing. Yeah. Well, I know there's, you know, obviously stuff to do in New Jersey, but how long does it take you to get over like into downtown Manhattan from Stevens? It takes around half an hour if we travel if you travel through bus, so it takes around half an hour. So you're basically right there next to New York City. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Have you gotten to do much exploring in that area yet? No, not yet. It's been two months and I was, 
I was uh, finding some accommodation here in New Jersey. So it took some time for me to, you know, uh, adjust with different apartments here. But now, now that I'm all set, I'll make sure that I visit all the places here. You know, but great. Well, hopefully, over Thanksgiving or Christmas break, you can have some fun roaming around and taking a break yes, from your studies. Definitely. Awesome. Well, Nushka, thanks so much. This was really fun. I learned a lot about Stevens, and I know this is going to help people as they shortlist the university and degree options. Yeah, thank you for having me here. Also, I would recommend everyone to check out Chayan Coaching Channel because it was super helpful for me. It helped me in finalizing my university and shortlisting the university. And there are many awesome videos out there on this channel. So please do check out Chayan Coaching. Thank, well, thank you. you. And we've also made another awesome video with Anushka about admissions profiles and different things you need for your application that are going to help you like LOR, SOP, and resume. So be sure to check out that video as well. And yeah, be sure to connect with us online on social media. Be subscribed to the Chayan Coaching Newsletter. And as always, friends, we really appreciate you hanging out and tuning in. And we'll see you next time at Chai and Coaching. Cheers.